I've spent some time diving into HubSpot's analytic tools, and I'm excited to show you what I've learned and to help you make smarter data-driven decisions. Today, we're gonna set up three key components. The first, source tracking, to see where our visitors are coming from. Then, lead tracking, to understand where we are converting. And build a custom dashboard to see it all come together in one place. Here's a quick preview of the dashboard that we'll be building by the end of this tutorial. I'm Thomas, this is How to HubSpot. Let's talk about why tracking matters. Without good data, you're sort of just guessing if your marketing is effective or not. Proper analytics helps you measure which channels are most effective, how to optimize your marketing budget, and improve your targeting for your ideal customers. By the way, it's completely free, so if you wanna follow along, click the link in the description down below. Let's get started. All right, first things first, let's find where traffic analytics lives in HubSpot. Go to reporting, reports, marketing analytics. Take a moment to look around. This is where HubSpot shows you how people are finding your website. Now, on the left side, go to marketing, web traffic analysis, and sources. Each color represents a different traffic source, orange for direct traffic, blue for email marketing, purple for organic search, etc. If you wanna get really specific about tracking your marketing campaigns, which you really should, then it's time to set up your UTM parameters. There are special tags that you need to add to your links to tell HubSpot exactly where your traffic is coming from. Here's how to do that. Go to settings, tracking and analytics, tracking URLs, creating tracking URL. Okay, enter the URL that you want to track. For me, I have an upcoming spring sale, so I'm gonna enter the URL for that page. Then enter your campaign, for me, spring signups. Your UTM source, this is where your link will be placed. So, so for me, that's gonna be an email, so select email marketing, and then enter your email name. For the UTM medium, it's an email, so I'll select that. And then click Create, and HubSpot will generate your tracking URL. Copy this URL and use it whenever you're linking to your site from that specific campaign. In order to do that, you go to Actions, Copy Tracking URL. And you can also copy a short URL, which looks better for social channels. Okay, now let's look at lead generation. Now that we know where visitors are coming from, let's set up tracking to see how those visitors turn into leads through forms. Navigate to Marketing, Forms. You can either create a form or edit an existing one, which is what I'll do for the sake of this tutorial. This is an important part for tracking. Click on the Options tab, scroll down, and make sure to add your marketing campaign. And select Create a contact for new email addresses. Okay, now all you need to do is click Update and embed your form on your website. One of the most useful things about HubSpot is that it takes anonymous website visits and turns them into actual contacts when they fill out a form. The tracking code is automatically included in all HubSpot blogs, landing pages, and websites. If you have any external pages, make sure that you install the tracking code manually to capture all the analytics on those pages. Let's make sure that's working. To do that, go to Settings, Account Management, Tracking and Analytics, Tracking Code. Now, to check that the HubSpot tracking code is properly installed, go to any page on your website. Right click, view page source, and then search your hub ID adding .js to the end. Now, verify that the code matches the tracking embedded code in HubSpot. Now you can see exactly where a lead was looking before it converted, giving you incredible insight into the customer experience and buyer journey. Now for the fun part, making a custom dashboard to bring all this data together in one place. To do that, we're gonna to navigate to Reports, Dashboards. Click Create Dashboard, New Dashboard. Let's give this dashboard a name, okay? Then click Create, and then go to Dashboard. Now let's add three essential reports that every marketer needs. For the first one, we'll create a traffic sources report. To do that, we're gonna go to add report, create report. Select data sources, and then websites. And then find session totals by day with source breakdown. Click that. Then choose your date range. Usually the last 30 days is a great place to start. Click save report and then rename your report. Select Add to Existing Dashboard, and I'm gonna select my dashboard. Click Save and Add. Next, we wanna create a lead generation report. Go over to Add Report again, click Report, then under Data Sources, select Contacts, 
and then find contact most recently created by source. And once you find that, click into that. And again, we're gonna use the same date range. So the last 30 days of this month, click save report and then rename this report. We're gonna add it to our existing dashboard again then click save and add. And lastly, we wanna add the form submissions for new contacts to see what the conversion rate is of those forms and to make sure that those contacts become leads. In order to do that, we are going to click reporting, marketing analytics, channel performance, forms. Then select advanced filters, name is equal to, and then select your form. Under summarized data, make sure you check the form, and then under chart metrics, conversion rate. Click save report, and we'll name this report, and then again, add it to our existing dashboard, click save, and add. Now you have a fully customized dashboard with three essential reports, showing you traffic sources, lead generation, and conversion rates to help you make better data-driven decisions. Now you should be able to track your marketing campaigns, measure its effectiveness, and optimize your strategy that's driven by data and not guesswork. Remember, everything we learned today is completely free in HubSpot. To check out reports for yourself, click the link in the description below. I'm Thomas, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.